Only one prayer point tonight and I speak over your life. Father, in light of all that I've heard, cause me to walk in these truths and then let your power to prosper truly come upon me. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Remember I told you that financial prosperity is a composite of many factors, laws and principles, human relational factors, supernatural empowerment, then the God factor. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Father, visit me, visit my family. The law of absolute surrender, tithes, offerings, and all kinds of givings. The law of value, the law of productivity, the law of excellence, the law of relationships, understanding investments. These are some of the keys. Then the power to prosper, the divine enablement that comes upon your mind, empowering your thinking, empowering ideas, empowering creativity, witty inventions, the anointing coming upon your hand, causing the works of your hands to be blessed, extraordinary excellence and productivity, the anointing coming upon your feet, bringing you direction, bringing you guidance and Isaac sowed in that land that land that land that land thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it you will find rest for your soul hallelujah hallelujah hopefully in another meeting when we have the time I will share with you a bit of the God factor in the finances of men. In every man's destiny, a day will come when you will experience something along the lines of your finances that only God can bring. It can happen once only in your lifetime. Just once. Just once. If you are not positioned to discern, there are people today, their rising is absolutely the God factor. God came, they discerned, they maximized the moment, and they stepped into a very supernatural dimension. I want to speak over your life. Beyond doing business, God can help men. The prophetic can help people prosper. I want you to believe it. As I speak over your life, you will be surprised to see what happened. let me tell you the truth i am a man that god has helped i know what it means to be helped by god and i want somebody to experience that dimension of grace father in the name of jesus you place this in my heart to teach your people to help them to know that lack and want is a curse and that it can come out of the believer's life whilst he's serving the lord with the dignity of integrity, passionately loving and serving Jesus. I stretch my hands over those who are here on site, the many who are following online. In the name of Jesus, the God factor that is responsible for lifting men, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. See the hand of God in your finances. I pray for you see the marvelous hand of God in your finances may God put it in the heart of men even strangers to locate you and bless you so mightily in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you you are in business and the difficulty is connecting to those who need what you carry by prophecy this moment I connect you in the name of Jesus you are in this place and you are trusting God for a job it looks like doors have not been open for you you've not even started because the way to begin to schedule a reward system is not there I'm praying for you 
May this year not end without you receiving your letter. I'm praying for anyone here who is in debt. You borrowed money, you are in trouble. Your family is in trouble. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, between now and December 31st, come out of that financial situation. I pray for someone. You made careless financial decisions. You lost your money. Maybe you put it somewhere, it disappeared. Someone ran away with your money or some stories. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, may God the restorer restore you. 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 For those who are not tithing, those who are not giving, that spiritual root is not there. The giving grace, I release it upon you right now. I call your destiny helpers. I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus, you will not have to look for them by yourself. God will bring them to you. I say it again, you will not have to look for them by yourself. My God will bring them to you. May this be true for ministries. May this be true for churches. May this be true for families. May this be true for individuals. Some wealthy person who is looking for someone to bless. May God put your name in their heart. And I want to pray for those who are already established. God is helping you. You have businesses. You have investments. You have structures here and there that meet needs. I'm praying for you. You will not fail in business. I'm praying for you. You will not lose your job. God will only take you higher and higher. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to shout, I shall not want three times. Just obey prophetic instructions. I'm going to count one, two, three. And you will shout, I shall not want, I shall not want, I shall not want. It's a prophetic word. You are declaring to the realm of the spirit. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. From the simplicity of this instruction, you will be surprised at the testimonies that will return. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I shall not want. Number two. Number three. As you have declared it in the name of Jesus, may my God make it happen in your life. When you see extraordinary results, I'm teaching you something. There is a covenant with God that this ministry will never beg and never borrow till Jesus comes. This is not about prosperity. Oh, this. No, 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 no. Is someone learning? In one minute, I'd like you to raise a cry from heaven and say, Father, grace upon my life. Where have I thrown away my winning formula? You gave it to me in the secret. This is what made me a millionaire. You gave it to me in the secret and I conquered the financial realm. Right now, my world is shaking. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Shake Parakosiata. Where you have violated your winning strategy. Behind the exploits of men in the spirit. Behind the exploits of men in destiny. There are secrets. There are covenants. Take a minute to pray. Skata prakata pelekata pos. Skada belanta paka sopra kata balakos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. 
there are people today because of money and titles they are 50 years but they have said they are 35 years because they must get it by force people have forged documents today forged all kinds of including christians simply because they are looking for opportunities oh ladies and gentlemen lift your voice and pray ask god to show mercy what's that your rest on me song again find a comfortable key and sing that rest on me song again please pray for one minute on me oh rest on me oh rest on me spirit of dreams rest on me oh rest on me pray for you if there is anyone in your life who is causing you pain and then standing by you may God take them out of your life may my God take them out of your life take deceivers out of your life take wicked people out of your life king of my life you are my own and i live for you alone king of my life you have my own and i live my life for you my heart is yours my mind yours my will is yours you're the king of my life my heart is yours my mind is yours my will Yours. You're the king of my life. Hallelujah. One prayer for yourself, then I speak over you. Lord, the name Ichabod will never be used in my life. Go ahead and pray. The name Ichabod. The name Ichabod. It will never be said he was once a great man of God but has been destroyed now it will never be said she was once a vibrant woman of fire someone pray it will never be said he was once a great man it will never be said koinonia was once a cutting edge ministry desired by nations someone pray this is the last spiritual vaccination you are receiving grace to last grace to last preacher pray grace to last in ministry in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray